Throughout World War II, the Nazi Air Force conducted mass air raid attacks on London. 170,000 Londoners sought refuge in underground shelters and tube stations. Now one of these shelters, 108 feet below ground, is an urban ecosystem. During the Nazi bombing campaign, this air raid shelter provided safety to 8,000 Londoners. Fast forward to 2019, it has now been transformed into a subterranean farm specializing in growing sustainable food for an ever-growing population. Using LED lights and hydroponic technology, food is grown using 70% less water compared to conventional farming. We power the site entirely by renewable energy and we're working towards carbon neutrality. The seeds are sprinkled on recycled carpet mats that act as soil and the water is reused. It's an enclosed system, so the water is on a recirculating system. The project is eco-friendly and businesses support the startup. The produce carried by hand to a local restaurant. This chef a happy customer. To make our place nicer uh, yeah. and beautiful. And resistant to adverse weather. It's pretty consistent, the temperature down here. As well as giving light, our LEDs actually give some heat. So using that heat and air ventilation for both ends of the tunnel and air movement within the tunnel, we can control the uh, perfect temperature, humidity, CO2 to some extent. The transformed air raid shelter also attracts visitors. I found it really, really interesting. I never ever thought that something like this would ever exist. I found it absolutely fascinating and uh, all the products that I've tried have been absolutely delicious. Um, and I'm growing them myself at home. That's what made me come down here. In a world where climate and lifestyle are changing at a fast rate, growing food below the surface could become the new norm for city dwellers. Nikolai Miller, NBC News.